All right, guys, so we are here today to talk about the new banner that is going to be coming to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. I'm super hyped for it, personally. I'm really excited. I'm really, really happy. I can't wait. Uh, I don't know when it's actually going to be released, though, so unfortunately, I don't have that information as of yet. It's probably on DBZ out of space, so we'll check it out in this video. But as you probably know or are aware, um, it is going to be the new Dragon Ball Hero stuff. So that means Super Saiyan 3, Future Trunks, Super Saiyan 3, Teen Gohan, um, and Toa, Thick Toa, is going to be here. And we also have a new, it looks like it's a new event quest for, uh, or a new quest or a new event for an SSR Raditz that, uh, that gets Doken Awakening into a TUR, which is going to be interesting. This category, in my opinion, is kind of trash, but there's really not that much you can do about it. New slash returning missions, clearing quest missions up to 50 times, awards a total of 160 green Baba gems. Defeating up to a thousand enemies in the new The Meaning of Raditz stage rewards six stones, five gravity chambers, five supreme Kai planets, two intelligence funky Kais, 10 Z swords, one platinum Hercule scouter, one gold Hercule scouter, and five new red old scouters and one SSR Elder Kai. Wow, that's a whole bunch of stuff. That's a lot of mouthfuls right there. New items, red old scouter, key plus two, starting the next turn. You can see all enemies incoming super attacks for three turns. That's actually really beneficial. Red old scouter is really awesome. Um, new trans, uh, new characters. Zahel can't, uh, Zahal can't read Japanese, so these are unofficial. Best translation ever. Um, so this is uh, essentially what's going on. Um, the name of the card, and by the way, I'm just going to bring this over to the left-hand side so that way you can actually see the card art. Um, I'm bringing it from dbz.space, so uh, this should be good. Uh, so this is going to be for the trunks, and we'll also do the translate to English feature over here uh, on the on uh, dbz.space. So this is the trunks. First off, really awesome card art. Really like him. Uh, let's see. He is going to be agility unit, supreme damage to the enemy, defense up for six turns on oh, launching a super attack. Uh, so that's awesome, as you can see here, 30% de uh, defense rise increase. His leader skill is agility type key plus two, attack and defense plus 60%, which you see right there. Uh, let's see, there we go. Awesome, it's actually displayed properly. <laughs> uh, his passive skill is attack and defense plus 60%. He nullifies the enemy's guard and has a high chance to guard against all attacks. It's actually a really decent passive ability. High chance to guard against all, and he nullifies enemies' guard. So that's, you know what, the reason why I think that's decent is because of the fact that it's not just nullifying enemy guard. Nullifying enemy guard was, like, cool when the OG Frieza had it, but it didn't really come into play, and it's not as good as that Gogeta passive, but it's still cool to have that, so that way he could at least damage some technique cards. Um, that's actually going to come up pretty decent in the SS3 Broly event, because if I pull him, um, I, I don't have a, the Dokkan version of SS3 Broly, uh, but I'm trying to get him, but I don't have enough Super Saiyan 3, so I will be pulling on this. Link skills are Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, Cold, Judgment, Over in a Flash, Breaking the Limit, or Limit Breaking Form, I'm sorry, and the Vegeta Family. So overall, pretty cool unit. I like the art on this. He's a really awesome character. You know what? It's going to be cool to see him on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team as well. Uh, I mean, he's pretty much just going to have the Vegeta family, which is going to be something that uh, a couple of the cards on the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team could possibly have. Uh, but that's a different team building guide for you when it becomes available on DokkanBattleBuilder.com. The next one is actually really cool. It is the Super Saiyan 2, 3, Super Saiyan 3, Gohan. He is an intelligence card, so an intelligent Super Saiyan 3. This is actually the first official one in-game. Um... It's going to be cool when they release the Bardock, because once Bardock gets released, there's going to be two Super Saiyan 3s, and it's really good and useful against the uh, Tech Broly event, Bio, or not Bio Broly, the Tech Broly event, Super Saiyan 3 Broly. He also, unfortunately, only does Supreme Damage, but he raises Attack for six turns, so he's the opposite a little bit of the Super Saiyan 3 Future Trunks. His leader ability is Intelligence Type, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 60%. Um, that's okay, that's cool, I like it. His passive skill is attack and defense plus 60%, which is the same thing as Trunks's, but his he has an additional 60% attack increase when doing a super attack. So that is 120% attack buff on a supreme damage character. That is awesome. I love that. Uh, let's see if Max Stat's actually over here. Uh, Max Stat's kind of stink though, man. Uh, anyway, his link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Over in a Flash, a Limit Breaking Form, and Experienced Fighter. That's not that bad, actually. 
Um, I did want to see calculations. You know, okay, so he only has 140% in the 12 key multiplier. And just to be efficient, we'll go ahead and take a look at Trunks. He has also has 120, uh, 140% multiplier. Not all, not bad at all, honestly. That's really not that bad. His, his stats are, are a little bit... Oh, no, Awoken stats. There we go. Okay, the stats are definitely a little bit better. 8800 attack, not that bad. Definitely, I mean, it's definitely not like, you know, Dokkan level uh, or Dokkan exclusive level. But uh, they're definitely not bad. Wow, Trunks is really a good defender, huh? He's He breaks the 5,000 mark on base. That's awesome. All right, cool. That's going to make him a lot more viable. One thing I did want to say about this uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, bro, you're going to be able to run a full Gohan intelligence team. I was talking about it with some of the guys on the multiverse. You can run literally a full Gohan team with LR Gohan lead, Super Saiyan base form Gohan for his linking buddy, Ultimate Gohan, Kid Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan Gohan Teen, or actually I think that was team, Super Saiyan to Gohan Teen, just Super Saiyan Gohan, the adult version. So yeah, man, you gotta have a full Go Intelligence Gohan team. That is awesome. I'm Oh man, global side, when this comes around, that's gonna be my goal. <laughs> anyway, cool, uh, let's go over to the next card. Uh, oh, no, we want to undo that. I closed it out by accident. There we go. Um, so this is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be Miss... Oh, no, this isn't Miss Thick. This is Miss Thick over here. So we were looking at her assets before. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so this is going to be the Toa. Toa is the SSR agility type. She does supreme damage and lowers enemy attack. I really wish it was greatly lowers enemy attack. That would be phenomenal, but unfortunately it is not. Um... Her ability, her leader skill, is going to be agility type key plus 2, HP, and attack plus 60%. Not great in terms of leader abilities, but again, like I always say, for those of you who are brand new, uh, that will probably be a better leader ability than not having any agility type leader, because she will buff both the attack and the, the, um, the attack and the HP, so it'll help you get through events. Her passive skill, extreme types key plus 2, attack and defense plus 25%. When HP is 30% or below, only once she recovers full health and gains an additional 50% attack. Now, I don't know if that means that 50% attack is only good for that one turn, or if that means that it's going to be additional 50% attack for the rest of the time that she is there. Either way, that's freaking awesome. Um, her and Whis on rotation are awesome, because Whis will be able to recover health one time and she will as well. So if you're like lacking really good characters or buffs when trying to take on the boss rush mode, these guys might actually help you get through it if you're running a mono agility team. Uh, anyway, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Attack 100% recovery, attack up, and HP of all ally members only once HP is 30% or less. Yeah. The only thing that stings is when HP is 30% or less, it's really hard to get there without dying. Um, her link skills are Rival Duo, Battlefield Diva, Demon Duo, Master of Magic, Scientist, and Thirst for Conquest. So, um... Eh, on her um, linking abilities, I mean, she really doesn't have that many that are really optimal. She's really only going to be utilized for her passive anyway, and again, agility is kind of like, in my opinion, agility and technique both are the two attributes that have an overabundance of really good support units. So, I mean, unless you're just running her because, you know, damn. But outside of that, <laughs> there ain't no real reason to run her on the team um, unless she's going to be part of the... Um, uh, the the, the all-girls team with that uh, bonus when you're going up against Master, Master Roshi. Uh, anyway, the next one we're going to talk about, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering a little bit about, is going to be this Raditz over here. Raditz is, the, I guess this is his TUR variant form. Uh, yeah, this is. So we're just going to talk about that. I'm not going to go over the stats on that one, uh, just because that's all that's translated here on the Reddit. So he is extreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense, which is garbage, on his super attack. His leader ability is low class warrior category key plus four attack 80% HP and defense plus 40%. Honestly, that's really not that good. And I'm going to show you the warrior class in a minute. It's really not that great of a, of a category, but I mean, I guess they have to do the little small garbage categories. Um, I don't want to say it's garbage because I like the title of it. I just wish that they had more involved there. Anyway, his passive skill is attack plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. That's complete garbage. Uh, and key uh, six or what is it? Plus six key and additional thirty percent attack up. Uh, I don't know what the heck that actually means over here. So, so let's see. Attack plus fifty percent on at the start of the turn. Okay, so he automatically gets fifty percent attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, I, I read that incorrectly. So it's automatically attack plus fifty percent, and then on the start of the turn, if there's two or more enemies, he gets an additional thirty percent attack and six key. 
So that's horrible. No one's going to utilize that, but that will never be utilized. <laughs> His link skills are Brutal Beatdown Saiyan, Lineage Combat, uh, combat Ethics Saiyan, or Saiyan Warrior Race, I believe that is. Um, Coward, Nightmare, Prepared for Battle, and Reaper. Um, honestly, guys, I don't see him being very viable of a unit. Um, I mean, he's cool to have, but like, all right, this is the this is the low class warrior category. I mean, there are a lot of SRs on here in rares, and honestly, all it really is is Bardock and his team, Goku's base form, and Raditz. You know, like. And, you know, Kid Goku, obviously, but... Oh, and Turles. So there's really not a lot here. There's really not a lot here. I don't know what to, like... I don't know what to make of that. I mean, I guess it's cool for, like, a great ape team. I guess. You could run him as a leader for a great ape team, because all the great apes happen to be low-class warriors. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, I guess it's cool. I'll do a team building on it when uh, I get, like, more time to do that when it's available on Dokkan Battle Builder. Uh, but, I'm, honestly, I, I don't think it's that great. Um, I am more hyped for the... No, well, yeah. Gohan and Trunks, myself. I would like the two of them, specifically the Gohan, because I need some uh, intelligent Super Saiyan 3s for that Broly event. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Super Attacks real quick, though. So, this one is going to be my favorite one. This is the Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. It looks like that he's part of the Hybrid Saiyan team. That's another thing. This is going to be part of the Hybrid Saiyan team. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I actually got to make sure that the desktop audio is recording. I like that man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's some, that's some pretty epic stuff right there. That that purple lightning bolt. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Like, where are you? Here. Well, first off, look at that. No eyebrows. That's just always cool. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, there he is. Look at that. Look at that lightning right there. He's just shooting. And I know it's actually like a, more of a key blast, but that just looks so cool. That is so awesome. Oh man. So his super attack. Also. I mean, again, he's not the hardest hitter in the game. Um, he's not going to be. He's, I don't think he's really meant to be a hard hitter. Uh, he's supposed to be hard, a harder hitter. But, I mean, look at the damage he did. I think that's also just base form. Like, he has no dupe system fed into him. It's probably Super Attack 1. But um, if I get him, I'll definitely be feeding... Well, on the global side, if I pull him when he comes out on the global side, I'll definitely be feeding some, uh, some Elder Kai's into him there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the trunks right now. This is when his passive goes off. So not the best damage output, honestly. You know what he reminds me of? Like him and Gohan both remind me of more uh, well, he reminds me of a more garbage version of the Strength Vegeta, and the Gohan, the Intelligence Gohan, reminds me of a better version of the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. It kind of looks like they, they kind of got a little bit revamped, but in terms of passive, Trunks kind of got shafted compared to his father's. Uh, but then again, guard against all types, and, uh, well, whatever, we'll see. Alright, and then this is Miss Thick herself. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what she has to offer. Alright, so first off, it kind of looks like the guy, whoever recorded this on Bandai, uh, did not know how the heck get a good setup for linking partners up. 
Um, he didn't know what he was doing. But honestly, that wasn't too bad of a super attack. I like this special. Let's see. Um, what's, that, what's that one part with like some crazy design? Not that, but that's... What is that? Oh, that's out. That's awesome. So that actually kind of looks like. I know I'm not trying to get into Bleach right now, but that kind of looks like when Ukiyota goes and takes um, his spear and chucks it, and then everything blows up. For those of you who will play Bleach Brave Souls with me, um, where is that's what I was talking about? Look at that crazy design. It's like some like mystic symbol with a big black ball in the middle, just absorbing everything. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the when Goku uh, compressed the spear palm a couple weeks ago. That's that's a that's a nice freaking super attack as well. It's pretty cool. Oh look at that! I didn't even notice that part of it. How it just kind of blows up and explodes. Yep. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's uh, those are the new cards and everything. I'll I'll be definitely be doing some summoning videos on with uh for that. I definitely want to get at least the Gohan. I would really hope so. I'm, I'm only gonna do three multi summons on this banner. If I don't get any of them, oh well. Uh, I'm saving the rest of them for the Super Saiyan three Bardock because I'm sure there'll be other Super Saiyan threes on that. I want a Dokken Awake in my Super Saiyan three Brawl. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Let me know how hyped you are down in the comments below. Uh, and I'll check you all later. Peace.